Hello everyone, welcome to Learn Its. In this video, we are going to see how two devices in a local area network can communicate with each other from the layer 2 perspective. How a switch maintain its MAC address table through address resolution protocol and how it identify the devices that are connected with it. Here in this scenario, let's just understand how address resolution protocol works. Let's say PC1 try to communicate to router R1. So it will try to communicate to 10.0.0.1 IP address. Initially, PC1 doesn't know which device is router R1 or the 10.0.0.1 and initially the MAC address table of switch is also empty so switch doesn't know that in which port which devices is connected PC1 will send one ARP request asking hey does anyone know the MAC address associated with the IP 10.0.0.1 So the PC1 will send the ARP broadcast request asking who is 10.0.0.1 and what is the MAC address of it when this request reaches the PC, uh, switch, it will forward this broadcast message to all the ports. And when the router R1 reaches this message, it will say yes, I am 10.0.0.1 and it will send an ARP reply to the switch. And this ARP reply will contain and will say that yes, I am 10.0.0.1 and here is my MAC address. So this ARP reply will contain this information. And that ARP reply will reach to the PC1. Now the frame of the data is completed. Now the PC1 have its source IP address, its source MAC address, its destination IP address, destination MAC address and the data that is going to request or that is going to access. So now the PC1 can easily communicate with router R1 through the switch. When the PC1 sent the ARP broadcast request to switch, at that time the switch MAC address table switch quickly note down that in FA0 slash 2 it has all A's MAC address. When the router R1 sends ARP reply to the switch, the switch will quickly note down that in FA0 slash 4, all C's MAC address is there. And that's how switch can identify its devices. For better understanding, let's check this process in simulation environment of the packet tracer software. Here you can see that PC1 has 10.0.0.2 IP and this one is the MAC address 00047A9A7B B2C5 Similarly the PC2 and the router 1 is connected with gig 0 slash 0 slash 0 with 10.0.0.1 IP and this is the MAC address Now let's go to the simulation and let's try to send one packet let's try to communicate from pc1 to the router 
let's try to form an packet as you can see initially it will send it will generate try to generate one icmp message so the icmp message will have its source ip its destination ip okay right now it doesn't have any layer 2 information so in order to generate layer 2 information pc1 will send one arp request so in this arp broadcast request you can see that pc1's mac address is associated with it okay it has the source ip destination ip but it doesn't know the destination mac address so what it will do it will send an arp broadcast request okay now let's start the simulation let's see how the packet will flow so it will go to the switch and it will send the broadcast request to all the other devices now in this situation what is happening pc2 is discarding the packet it is saying that no i am not 10.0.0.1 server is also discarding the packet but in router r1 it is not discarding let's see in router r1 what is happening with the packet as you can see it first received this arp broadcast request then the broadcast request is sends it to arp reply now you can see that source mac address is the router mac address and destination mac address is the pc's mac address right this is the mac address okay here now source ip is 10.0.0.1 and destination ip is 10.0.0.2 that is the pc's ip address so this is called arp reply okay also in this situation let's check the mac address table of the switch let's go to the switch and go to the cli enable and write down so mac address table so here it has the fa0 slash 2 mac address right now right and fa0 slash 3 so you have it has learned the both the mac address now the packet will the arp packet will reach to the pc1 directly okay now the rest of the icmp packet will flow now it is very easy for the switch to transfer the icmp packet from the pc1 to the router 2 as you can see and let's check what the icmp packet is containing when it reaches the router r1 it has source ip destination ip source mac destination mac and it reply with reversing those data as you can see right and at finally it reaches to pc1 right it reaches to pc1 so this is how a switch maintain its mac address table and that's how a data packet flows from the layer 2 perspective i hope this address resolution protocol concept is clear for you if you have any doubts or queries you can ask me in the comment box thank you